Hi guys, it's Stacey here from TycoonFactory.com and this is the third video in your free video course of how to make money online with no marketing skills, no technical knowledge and no upfront capital. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, drop shipping. Now I know we previously mentioned that in the first video with that little ninja trick of drop shipping between Amazon and eBay but this is uh, more mainstream drop shipping so this would be a case of finding products that you could sell regularly on a long term basis whereas with the other method it's kind of like one product here and there so as you can see I'm on a site here called AliExpress now what AliExpress is is it's a site a little bit like eBay but it's wholesale prices and these generally are manufacturers in China that list on this site um, I will include a link to that in the description it's an absolutely fantastic site if you do go down the line of opening a web store later on and you've got some capital to buy stock this is a great place to buy it from but they also have people who list dropship offers on here as well so it's a great place to find uh, suppliers that are selling products really cheaply so all I've done is I've come to the site and I've typed dropship in the search bar now you could try try and type dropship jewelry dropship clothes dropship technology and you could use actual keywords to find the exact products you're looking for but for this uh, demonstration I'm just going to type in dropship and have a look at what supplies are offering dropship so you can see here from the results that there's quite a lot of jewelry uh, in the dropship category but as we go down there's also things like mobile phones uh, you do find a lot of things like uh, USB sticks electronics that kind of thing um, but as you can see there's an awful lot of products that are available to dropship um, now as an example we'll look at uh, this Samsung Galaxy S5 so that's $215 uh, drop shipped and that is around about £165 in the UK at the current exchange rate obviously that does fluctuate um, so if we go up to Amazon and just have a look at how much that item is selling for you can see that it's selling for £275 so straight away you've got over £100 gross profit there obviously use your fees and things to come off so that's an ideal item to drop ship so basically all you would do is list this item on here purchase it from AliExpress and get the supplier to ship it direct to the customer now one thing that you've got to be careful of on AliExpress is if you buy in branded items um, and the reason for that is there's a lot of Chinese suppliers who will copy branded items and sell them so they actually fake so you need to be very very careful and you can usually tell by the prices if it's a huge price difference um, there are some genuine sellers on AliExpress that sell genuine branded products but it's worth just contacting them and uh, having a chat with them about whether or not the item is genuine and if they can prove that just because you don't want to end up in any hot water with uh, Amazon um, and they are kind of cracking down on this particularly on sort of eBay at the moment so it's something that you need to check out or if you can find products that are uh, non-branded items and um, as you can see this this item as well is the silver version whereas the listing we were looking on there is the black version so again you've just got to be careful about that um, make sure that you're selling the exact same item now that's the first method in drop shipping and you can do that um, on Amazon and on eBay I've already given you a little bit of a demonstration about how to make an eBay listing but I will towards the end of this video give you a demo on how to make an Amazon listing as well so that's absolutely fine so that's the first method is to go to uh, the Chinese drop shipping sites like AliExpress and find products on there that you can list on eBay and Amazon and get them sent direct to your customers now obviously the positives of that is that it's huge profit margins on some items but one of the negatives of it as well is the shipping time um, and the reason for that is obviously when it's coming from China to the UK for example the shipping time is going to be a lot longer than if you've got a supplier in the UK so that's something that you've got to bear in mind as well and again it's worth contacting the suppliers before you list on Amazon or eBay and just having a chat with them about what they can do on shipping um, if you promise to buy continually from them can they do you a discount can they offer a faster shipping service and just kind of have a chat about those things it's common sense but it's really important because the last thing that you want to do is provide a poor customer experience for your buyer and that might be that they haven't to wait two weeks for an item you're going to receive bad feedback and that's going to reflect negatively on you 
So that's the first option for finding dropship suppliers. The second one is to go to Google and actually search for it, which sounds really straightforward and really obvious, but it's a method that's completely underused. So for example, I've just put dropship wholesale pet supplies into Google here, and you can see, I mean, there is loads of results here. Uh, pause pet supplies, dropship pet products, pet supply. There's absolutely loads of options. Um, so whether you're searching for pet supplies or electronics or gaming devices just put dropship wholesale and your keyword into here and you will find some suppliers and sometimes sites will offer drop shipping but they don't actually um, advertise the fact so sometimes you might log on to a website that doesn't necessarily say it's got a drop shipping program but if you contact them and say I own a business I am an eBay and Amazon seller I plan to have a website very soon would you be interested in drop shipping for me um obviously i'll advertise your products and a lot of them you'd be surprised will say yes so that's worth bearing in mind and thinking about doing as well so i've just uh, clicked on one of these and brought one of them up for you which is a uh, pet supply retail and they have a drop ship program strip sh ship straight from the manufacturer and it's usually with these sites you do have to sign up for an account and they will ask you if you are a business customer so if you can try not to use a yahoo or a google email address um a mail.com one would look slightly more professional but if you've got a website great use that um but most of the time they will accept ebay and amazon sellers as well so it's not something to worry about it's just a case of doing a little bit more research and find out which suppliers are willing to do that so that's the second option for finding dropship suppliers and these are free ways of finding dropship suppliers as well by the way there are a couple of paid resources that basically list them all and I will include uh, links to those as well in the description um, but they are paid options and obviously the whole point of this video course is being able to find business models that don't require an upfront investment so you may start by using some of these free methods and eventually move into uh, using one of the paid methods to find dropship suppliers and the third option that I've got for you for finding dropship suppliers is finding them on eBay. And again, this is a bit of an underused strategy, but it is one that works really well. So, for example, you type in an item that's selling for a lot more on Amazon than it is on eBay. So it's almost like a flip round of the first method. So one of the items that I've previously sold in the past is the... Uh, VTech Kitty Zoom camera. So as you can see, it's it's twenty pounds on here. Whereas if you go onto Amazon, and I'll just type that in to show you. So as you can see. 42.99 so there's a good profit margin in those so all you would do is to contact that ebay seller and just say if i was to sell this product on your behalf um would you drop ship straight to my customer for me so basically not put an invoice or any branded packaging um in the delivery and you'd be surprised at how many ebay sellers are, are willing to do that and so that's a great method as well of finding drop shippers for free now I did mention a couple of uh, sources for finding dropshippers on a paid system. Uh, one of those is Worldwide Brands. Um, there's another one called Wholesale Directory. Um, I will list these in the description. Again, these are more advanced methods because they are paid for methods and they're just long lists of wholesalers. So it's people who are willing to dropship from their own businesses that have listed on these sites. So I'll include these links in the description, but again, these are paid sites. So if you were just starting out and you're looking to start with no capital, do the three free methods that I've shown you first before thinking about that. They're really things to advance on to later as your business grows. Okay, so let's look at how to list an item on Amazon once you've found some inventory. Now, um, you may want to spend a few hours doing some research and find five or six products you can list. Um, what I would say is when you look on Amazon at a product, try not to pick a dropship product that has a bestseller rank of over 30,000. So what that is, is if we scroll down on Amazon on this item, the Kiddy Zoom camera, and as we move down through the page, you'll come to the product details section. And as you can see, I've just scrolled past it, sorry. 
So this is the product details section, and as you can see, this is 218 toys and games. Now that means it's a very, very good seller. So try and pick products that are under 30,000 in any category. Under 10,000 is absolutely great. Um, and obviously 208 is massive. I bought some of these not so long ago to sell on and I literally sold out of them in 10 minutes. It was amazing. Um, because it's got such a high bestseller rank, there's a lot of people buying these for their children. So that's a, the first tip I would tell you is when you're looking for your research and finding suppliers of different products, you'll only look for products that are in that kind of region. Um, and that'll ensure that you're not kind of, you don't have listings up there that are going to be sitting there doing nothing. So you've found some products, you've found some suppliers, you've spent a couple of hours doing that. The next step is to list them. Now, I showed you on the first video in the course how to list on eBay. So I'm not going to repeat that, but I am going to show you how to list on Amazon. So first of all, you'll need to sign up for an Amazon account um, and it's Amazon Seller Central. So I will um, include the link to that. So where you can sign up and I'm obviously on the UK version here, but you may be on .com. That's fine, too. It's the same system. So all you'll do is you'll come to inventory and manage inventory and you can see here that I'm on that page already. This is once you've logged into your account and to find a, a product, you simply go to the product on Amazon. So I'm going to list this uh, kiddie zoom camera. And if you scroll down to the product details again under the ASI and you just need to copy and paste that. And in Manage Inventory, you're going to click Search, paste that into there, and click Search. And that'll pull up the item. Now, I have no items for that. Um, so we're going to go to Inventory, Add a Product. And post the item in there. And this will bring up the listings for it on Amazon. So it's just loading those up now. So as you can see, it brings up the list and it's brought that item up for me. And I just click sell yours and that'll open up a new page on Amazon Seller Central, which will be a catalog page where I can add my own details. So that's the item there. So in there you can put your own SKU, which is your own identifier, um, condition, new, Condition note, so that's really going to be if you're using an older one. So refurbished, it might be refurbished to new standard. And as you scroll down, you can put your price in. Um, I tend to just select match total price. Now, sometimes it can be worthwhile to try and beat the prices on there because it gives you a better chance of getting the buy box, which is what is the section that people buy from on Amazon. Um, so I'll show you an example of that if I go back to the listing page here. If I scroll back up to the top, the buy box is the person who has this box here and the add to basket button, it goes automatic, automatically to them. Um, but you can see that you've got your buy box here and then if you scroll down, there's other sellers on Amazon for different prices. So this is the box you want because most people are just going to click add to basket on that one. Um, and having a slightly cheaper price can help you get the buy box. It's not to say that you'll definitely get it, but you know, it does help. So you can do that. You can select your quantity. Now, if you um, have a product that's ongoing and continual and you know that you can get unlimited supply of it, you may put quantity of 50. If you've only got kind of one or two of them, then you might put a quantity of two or three and that's fine. And as we scroll down, you can see as I list the sections in that it says I'm allowed I have to do I can click save and finish and that'll take me on to the next page just to confirm it now the great thing about Amazon is that adding products is so quick I mean you can see that I've just listed that there um, and I'm gonna have to take that off straight away because I haven't got those in stock and they do sort of sell very quickly um, but you can see that that's really fast if it's a product that's already on Amazon it's so fast to list on Amazon which is one of the benefits of it so I hope that that's been some help for you guys um, if you've got any questions or anything please post them I'll be happy to answer them don't forget to uh, check out our Facebook page and our Instagram and our Twitter and uh, I'll see you in the next video